right, everybody, welcome back to Truth Talking Tunes with uh, Soprano Slick and Don Hayes. So, uh, what do you think about Ron Paul, Frankie? I Which, don't know if he's controlled opposition or not, but I think that's the best thing they got right now. He's saying all the right things, like, and the Fed, and, like, you know, he's saying the real things that need to get done. I don't know. I think he, wait. I think, I think that people should vote for him. Yeah. But I know wait. it's all rigged. It's all been proven that votes are rigged, man. It's like literally. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference if people vote for Ron Paul or not. Because so. he's not going to win anyway. You know, everything's fucking bullshit. Even, even if he does somehow get in. Do you think that he wouldn't, uh, like, uh, commit suicide or get shot in the head or something? Yeah, like, if he does go at the beast, he's going to get... Yeah, exactly. He's no, going to... No. Look at John... JFK was the last president to go after the, the Federal Reserve, right? You know? Boom. Yeah. Did you know that um, the JFK was pro-Nazi, and did you know that Ron Paul is a Freemason? Well... You know what? I, I believe that JFK was pro-Nazi because he's elite bloodline, first of all. But you can exactly. totally tell that he had a change of conscience yes, throughout yes, his life. Yes, he did. And he's, that's exactly what he was doing, man. He, yeah. He's like, screw it. I like these people. He yeah. was one of the elite, man. And there's one thing I said before. I said, you know, you, we can get mad at the elite. The elite but they are all born into it. Are you going to get mad at somebody who's rich because they're born born into it? You know, it's, it, it's very it's yeah, very hard true. for this whole cycle of self consciousness at war with itself because we're all brothers and sisters. I mean, like these elite are born into abusing us. That's their life. That's all they know. So you know what I mean? It's it's just like a it's a it's a thugster in the you know in the ghetto growing up where his granddaddy was a blood like you know it's yeah, it's the same thing with the elite there's no difference word that's totally true eh yeah what do you think about ron paul being a freemason though? well like i said uh we talked about this off air um there are good freemasons out there but yeah of course that's suspicious to me man because i me, you and i both know that there are Masons in high places of power who are indeed, uh, you know, uh, not working for the best interests of the people. So, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know, man. He might be one of those guys that was the JFK. Like, he, you know, if, I don't know. If he's the Antichrist, though. <laughs> That's a crazy thought. That's if you believe in the Antichrist. But, of course, they're good. But, see, it's been, uh, who, What the hell is the Antichrist? No, I'm going to say something right now. Okay. Uh, I have to say the Antichrist is just like, there's more than men. There's fucking thousands of Antichrist. Oh, I know. Yeah. But my you know point I mean? is, is that they want one to dominate in the world. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it could, yo, it could be Obama. It could be fucking Bush. It could have been his father. It could have been any of them. But for some reason, I think it's Ron Paul simply sure. because... He's dressed in a fucking white robe, basically, and he's fucking acting all fucking this and that. I don't trust him. That that's just my personal. I'm opinion. not gonna say that I trust him either. I'll be totally honest with you. But from what he says, I'm basing my opinion on everything that he does. True. I'd say he's the best option. But like I said, I don't know. But it it depends. He. How come the media is bashing him so hard? Is it is it like um, it's all reverse hype. psychology, reverse psychology type? Yeah, of stuff? that's that. Yeah, that's exactly the way. I, they 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 bash him on the media so that people think that he's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it, yeah, it's like the reverse psychology type. Yeah. yeah for sure. But anyways, <sighs> want to do your next question? Um. So yeah, you you've uh you do a lot of activism and you've confronted a lot of uh politicians and such. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us yeah. about some of that? If you go on to uh, democraticquestions. Oh my god, hang on a sec, eh? I haven't been on it for a while. Hang on. I gotta get this. democraticquestions.blog.ca is a collection of our confrontations to uh, politicians. And uh, I don't know, uh, we've confronted a couple of politicians for sure. Uh, Elizabeth May, Green Party, uh, Michael Ignatieff, Liberal Party, but he resigned. Um, Wait, well, Michael Ignatieff resigned? Damn. Man, he quit really two weeks after I confronted <laughs> him, man. 
anybody wants to watch a confrontation, it's called uh, Michael Ignati if confronted, or puppet Michael Ignati if confronted. Now, speaking of democracy, let's do a little. Let's do some. Let's show them how. Here's how it works. I don't have any idea what questions are going to be asked of me in the next little while. That's how it works. If you don't like the answers, as free citizens, you are free to go to another answer that you like better. That's how it works. I am not an entertainer. I am not a comedian. I am an accountable public official, and I have to be here, and I have to answer your questions. That's how it works. Let me understand how we, oh, just one little thing. Not a lot of people know this, but a question is a short interrogative <laughs> statement followed by a question mark. Not everybody knows that, but it's, that's what it is, and there'll be one per customer, okay? There we go. Take a few questions. I don't want people to be left out, so let, this better be, this is the last one, so it better be good. Hello, good sir. Uh, your opponent, Stephen Harper, has admittedly, uh, said he's gone to a Bilderberg meeting, which is uh, admitted on Wikipedia. I would like to know if you've ever attended, have you ever attended one of these meetings, and what do you think of these secret meetings? Uh, I have never been, I've never been to Bilderberg. I've never been in black helicopters either. I, I now I want, look, the, the point about Bilderberg, maybe people don't know what this is about, but it, it's very important that in a democracy, elected leaders don't go to a, highly secret meetings that the people don't know anything about. I mean, I just think as an elected official, you ought to know where I'm going and what I'm doing. I have a public appointment book. If I have the honor to be a prime minister, you know what I'm doing, you know, and, and, and that transparency, I think, is important. And the failure of organizations like Bilderberg to be transparent has created an enormous amount of anxiety and resentment in the sense there's some kind of secret world where stuff gets decided. I don't want to be in any secret world where things are being decided. I want to be in transparent public places where things are decided. my uh, blog it's only uh, it's just a very small website it's called the Democratic Questioning Society uh, I say we are freedom fighters we exercise our in in inalienable human rights we expose the lies and corruption of those in power we inform we give factual truth we ask questions we resist tyranny we are about love peace and unity and we are about elevating our communities so right. basically uh, if you read what I got a big article I'm not gonna read it but I'm basically trying to inspire people to join the society it doesn't mean you got to be in contact with me just I'm saying go out there and every single time you hear that they're in your town go ask the questions that need to be asked Word. and let them know that you know you're like let them know you're awake you know because these pussies and cowards they hide behind their herds of sheep so if Word. You can, Yo. If you can go there and screw it all up in an intelligent way, don't go in there blowhorning stuff because you're going to get kicked out and honestly, no one's going to listen to you. Not one of those yeah. sheep are going to listen to you. They're going to think you're nuts. Go in there intelligently and figure out a way to ask that question in a form which is still relevant to the event. You know what I mean? But slip in that question. Like, for instance, I went up to um, uh, Andrea Horhat. And Michael McGinty, okay, it was a it was a provincial election, right? Yeah. Um, so I me Terry and I went in there at uh, I forget where it was. Ah, uh, shoot, I don't even remember where it was. It's in Hamilton. I just forget the building. But we go yeah. in there, and I go to her, and this is how I worded it. I go, your opponent Michael McGinty has admittedly been to a Bilderberg meeting. I'm like. What do you think? Like, I asked the same thing that I asked Michael Ignati, the exact same question that I asked Wait, her. Like, like, what do you think? Pardon? Who's Michael McGinty? Uh, 
Do you mean Dalton McGinty? Sorry, Dalton McGinty. Okay, Sorry about okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael well, McGinty. Yeah, I'm getting confused here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Dalton McGinty. That's what I meant to say. And yeah, you know what I mean. So I mixed it in like that. I had to. I got her in a situation where she has to answer, otherwise she's gonna look suspicious. Yeah, weird. So you know, just go out there. People go out there, and when you see these people in your town, go confront them and, uh, and go by the go by the tens, go by the twenties, whatever. Me and Terry went by the twos. <laughs> For sure, yeah. man. Just basically let them know that you don't understand them. You know what I mean by that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. elaborate. Fuck the puppets. Anyways, uh, you want to introduce the next song? Yeah, that's awesome that we were talking about. This next song is called Puppets. I made it right <laughs> after I confronted Michael Ignatius with Terry Wilson. All right, check it out. We now have a truly globalized economy. We need some semblance of global governance. That's what the G20 is. So if the G20 doesn't work, something else to fill that gap. You will order awakening a love it. Top politicians use just Illuminati puppets. Voting is a privilege as a legal citizen. But you're still a damn slave choosing representation. Democracy's illusion and the government's a fraud. It doesn't matter who you choose in tax and money and it's robbed. Public servants work for privatized banks. Funding Harper to the crown, yo, they love to give thanks. These speeches are continually forgiven Cause real rulers visualistically are hidden These corporations telling the truth is always forbidden Blind the public to the truth and that's how they be living Would it be a fair description that you see the G20 essentially as a steering committee for the global economy? Ha, ha, forget you 20, 20 world leaders Build the bird consists of hundreds of deceivers The yearly meet discreetly in complete secrecy Sincerely we have to defeat these elite conspiracies Build the bird group, yo, they pick all the puppets In each and every country they can give two fucks of it Exploit the people and deceive them To play the clever game Government is owned by the crown and that's an awful shame People they legally do not own anything Citizen is slave status to the queen and the king and they shall control the world by everything electronics to antibiotics to celebrities that sing and that's what these meetings are all about and that's the loss of national sovereignty Angels say beware the bearers of broken promises These political games deceive us into harming us Harper to Ignati if harmonic Illuminati Infiltrating democracy by Masonic Ignorati They snobby cause they be coming and taking a rip in the votes Ceases in the lobby protecting getting paid by federal notes Man to go and provoke Asking questions to the puppet speech lines they choke Puppet can come and suck it All speeches are scripted in Britain Australia from Canada to Britain John Howard, Stephen Harper, yo, they grin and revolution is the solution to be winning. There isn't really a Canadian economy anymore. It is a global economy. Puppets all around the world, they expose you, they forbid. So open up your mind and ears, open the eyelids. Puppets all around the world, they expose you, they forbid. So open up your mind and ears, open the eyelids. It is inherently right to allow a country such as a rock. To allow a country such as a rock to retain weapons of mass destruction. destruction. Particularly, Particularly in the light of its past aggressive behavior. Yeah. Uh-huh. 